Hey guys and welcome to another official London Photography Tour video blog. My name's Luke and today I'd like to talk to you about how to pack your bag for travel photography. Um, I've just come back from India, I'm in the process of processing my photos and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to talk about the kind of bags on the market, the plus and minuses and, and the kit I took with me to photograph and document the street photography in India. So. Let's have a look at the bags first. Let's have a look at our classic rucksack. These are really good bags. Um, you've got two straps, disperse the weight over the whole of your back. You have um, put all your gear down in here. You've got loads of space to stick big lenses, big cameras in. Um, the downside with these bags is that you have to take the bag off to take your kit out, which is quite frustrating. It slows you right down. Also, all your valuable assets are on, the, on your back and it's very easy for people to dip their hands into the pockets and it's, in my opinion, a higher chance of stealing your kit. So for that reason, that bag got superseded. So I was left with my trusty old satchel, which works very well in my opinion. I, I love this bag, I use it all the time. You can see it's getting pretty trashed now. Um, so the good thing about this bag is is round, I can swing it round to the front and pull my kit out and change my lenses uh, very easily. Also, I, if I'm in an environment that I think there's a risk of being uh, mugged or my kit being stolen, I can bring it round the front again, put my hand on the straps and protect my gear. Uh, I feel much more secure using this bag. Uh, so there are a lot of times I was in environments where I wasn't 100% confident with where I was and I just wanted to protect my kit because it's also got my passport and my wallet in there as well. Okay, so let's have a quick look at kit. So we have your classic Canon 5D Mark One with a 17 to 40 mil lens. This is a, a great camera. I love using this camera. The downside to this camera is it's very big and it's very heavy. So for that reason, I tried to opt for my smaller camera setup, which is my Leica camera. And as you can see, side on side, it's just a lot smaller. So unfortunately this got superseded and I took this camera with me. If I only had the Canon 5D or, or any camera for instance, it would, be per it would be absolutely suitable for the job. This is just easier, lighter and less imposing to photograph people. Also I wanted to restrict the number of lenses I had. I took two lenses with me. The first lens is my 35mm lens Voigtlanger f2.5 aperture. I find it's a very good lens. It's very slim profile, very unimposing and it, it works very well. The other lens I took with me was my 50mm Summilux lens. This is a f1.4. This lens is predominantly going to be used for portraits. That's what this lens is going to be used for. This lens is going to be used for everything else. and I use this lens for 90% of my photography trip. And that worked really well for me. Another thing that's really important is batteries. I have a spare battery in here that stays there all the time. I have a Indian plug converter but the most important thing is this battery pack and charger stays in this bag. It doesn't go in my clothes bag because if my clothes bag gets stolen then it will get stolen with this and then I can't take any more photos. So it's very important that this always stays in that bag. Another thing that works really well is my uh, brush to clean my lens and also I've got a pad on this side here. That works really well. It's quite dusty in India so cleaning your kit is quite important. I also packed my sunglasses in here. First things first, it's very hot and sunny and it's about 40 degrees heat. But also what I found useful is a lens cleaning kit. I can use that to clean my sunglasses, but more importantly, to clean my lenses as well. So I had two ways of cleaning my lenses. Now I have a little zip here, and in this zip I kept my passport and my rupees, and my rupees is about, that equates to about a pound, all that. So it's, although it looks like a lot of money, it's not an awful lot of money. Another luxury I had was my iPad 
Um, I had my books on here, I had my music on here, and also if I got uh, free Wi-Fi, which you could in a lot of the hotels and hostels, I could then plan my next part of my trip. So this is, a, although it's a luxury, it's really, really useful. And you'll never see me without my notebook. I use notes to write down about my photography, about uh, ideas, inspiration. I record everything in this book. So there's a couple of other things that are really important as well that I'd like to share with you is my multi-plug socket adapter. This is great. I can stick my Indian plug on here like so and now I can charge up six different items. Got phone, iPad, camera and I've got three spare that I can share to friends. Uh, family and fellow travellers. That's actually quite a good way of making friends. You stick one of these in the wall uh, in a hostel and everyone wants to be a friend. So it's a useful piece of kit. And the reason why it's in this bag is that if this gets stolen with the plug converter, I'm not going to lose too much sleep over. Another really good top tip, which is nothing related to photography, but I think it's really cool, is if you Google military clothes folding, onto YouTube you'll get a whole host of videos on how to pack your clothes like the military and the military do everything very efficiently and this is how they pack the clothes and I packed all my clothes like that and I saved a whole load of space so hopefully you found this video helpful until next time take care